with adults with congenital heart disease, really exciting group of people because we didn't think they were going to make it this far. They were blue babies. They were kids who we didn't really know we could get to adulthood. But they have, with advances in science, in medical care, we've been able to help these individuals really live full lives, and now they're adults. The challenge is, now that they are adults with congenital heart disease, we need to figure out what that lifespan looks like. And the thing we're realizing is, some people may pass away, and others may lead a life that still has medical complications, sometimes even surgical complications. And we really need to start addressing that in the adult population. So the debate's an interesting one. The debate that we're having, uh, we refer to as the end of the ultimate fighter, because that's how we think of these people and their families and their friends. And uh, part of the challenge is, how early in life do you start telling people about palliative care? The idea of palliative care is not just end of life for hospice care. It's how does one take care of the whole person, the self, and how do you have a good quality of life all the way up until the end? I think palliative care, or the idea that we have to talk about the fact that there will be challenges in life, needs to start in the very beginning. I don't think we can hide the idea that somebody may not make it all the way to 80, that somebody may never be eligible for a transplant. I don't think we can hide that from the patient or their family. I think we have to engage them with it, and we have to learn how to do it in a way that empowers them and doesn't scare them. because we don't know what their life course looks like. There are doctors that don't agree with this concept because this is the first time someone with this diagnosis is 35. How do you know if it's going to go well or not? And why would you tell them something that seems negative about their life if you don't actually know what's going to happen next? So it's this balance. We have upwards of 60% rates of anxiety and depression in the adult congenital heart disease population. And on top of that, some of us want to layer on the idea of thinking about the end of life earlier than the end of life is coming. I can see where they're coming from, and that's a challenge, but that's why we have this debate.